finding the equations of parallel and perpendicular lines. Parallel lines are easy, relatively speaking. Perpendicular lines are difficult. That's just the way it is. Why are parallel lines easy? Because parallel lines have the same exact slope. Let me put it a little more officially than that. The slopes of parallel lines are equal. They're the same thing. Okay, so here's what we're trying to do. Write an equation of the line containing the given point OK, you're going to write an equation of a line that contains this point. It contains an infinite number of points, but that's one of them, 5, 6. And it's parallel to the given line. Here's the given line. You use the given line to find the slope. Whatever slope this line has will also be the slope of the line we're looking for that contains this point. So step one, find the slope of the given line. Step one, I'm just going to say find slope. Subtract X, subtract X. Three Y equals negative X plus two. Now we have to stop for a minute because this is going to be important. Negative X is negative one X. You're going to have to write it this time. Usually it's invisible, the one. But you're going to be dividing by three and dividing by three and dividing by three. The slope of this line is negative one over three or negative one third. M equals negative one third. The slope of this line right here is negative one third or negative one over three, doesn't matter. Now, now, we have to find the equation of the line that's parallel to this line. Parallel means go side by side forever. However, it's a negative slope, so they're actually going to be going the other way. Let's make it a pretty color. Bah, that's not parallel. I can't draw a parallel. Ah, oh, yes, I can. I can draw parallel lines if I cheat.
sort of parallel. There you go. They go side by side forever. They have exactly the same slope. Negative one third, okay. Negative one third and five six, so I can go ahead and scroll up. So I'm going to use the point slope formula. Y minus Y1 equals M times X minus X1. And if you're wondering to yourself, how am I going to remember all this? Go through the notes. I'm going to, I'm going to put them up in, the, in module two right away. Go through the notes. And um, 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 start making flashcards. Or if you don't use flashcards, at least notes. And if you take notes, then you need to read through them. You'll remember better if you actually write it yourself and don't just take photos. Okay, so here we go. Y minus six equals Let's say negative one over three times X minus five. I'm going to move my equal sign over. I always forget to move the equal sign over. Because I have a fraction and I'm going to be multiplying both sides of the equation by the denominator three. There. Now the whole reason for doing that is that the threes cancel. Three times y is three y, three times minus six or negative six is negative 18 or minus 18. All right, so get rid of that six. I have to get the three y term by itself. Minus 18 plus 18 plus 18. All right, now, these guys zero out. So I'll have 3y equals negative 1x plus 23. So we'll have a uh, Right, and then I divide by three, I divide by three, I divide by three. So we'll have, and the, these threes cancel. I'll be left with one Y, which is Y, equals negative one third X plus 23 over three. Step one is always to find the slope of the given line. So, let's see, we have 8x minus 7y equals, equals 4, and it's positive 4. So, my first step is going to be to isolate negative 7y by itself which is the meaning of isolate, so that was a redundancy. I'm going to subtract 8x from both sides and subtract 8x from both sides. 
8x minus 8x is zero, which was the whole reason for doing that. I'm left with negative 7y on the left, and on the right I have negative 8x plus 4. Now I divide both sides by negative 7. Uh, the negative sevens cancel each other, leaving me with y. y equals negative eight over negative seven. The negative signs cancel, leaving me with eight sevenths. So the slope of the given line is eight sevenths. Now, step two, if we want to keep that in line with the perpendicular problems that we've already done and then come back to these. Step two would be to write the parallel slope. Ha ha, but guess what? It's exactly the same. Parallel slopes are equal, or the slopes of parallel lines are equal. So step three is find the equation of the line. So I have to go up and find the point, nine, negative one. Okay, so. All right. Y minus Y one equals M times X minus X one. y minus negative one equals eight sevenths times x minus nine. So y plus one equals eight sevenths times x minus nine. I multiply both sides of the equation by seven. To eliminate the fraction, that'll give me seven y plus seven equals the sevens cancel leaving me with eight times X minus nine. Now, I still have to distribute over here. That would be seven Y plus seven equals eight X minus 72. I will add seven to both sides of the equation. Uh-uh, I will subtract. There. Minus seven. 
minus seven. Okay, now for sure, seven minus seven is zero. I'll be left with seven Y on the left equals eight X. Minus 72 minus seven is minus 79. Then I divide by seven and divide by seven and divide by seven. So the equation of my new line is going to be eight, y equals eight sevenths x minus 79 over seven. Write the equation of a line given the point and perpendicular to the given line. Well, this is a horse of a different story. So, step one, find the slope. George is in the building. I don't know if you can hear him meowing. Find the slope of 5x plus y equals 8. Well, this is going to be pretty fast and easy. Let me move my 8 over. Over here, it's positive, so I put a plus in front of it. Then, I'll subtract 5x from both sides of the equation so that 5x zeroes out over here, which leaves me with y equals negative 5x plus 8 which means the slope is negative five. <clears throat> now, if this were a parallel line we're looking for, no problem. We would use slope equals negative five. However, it's not. So step two. Find the perpendicular slope. So here's where we have to remember. Slope is rise over run. So if I see slope equals negative five, what that means is the slope is negative five over one. Now how that's important is finding the perpendicular slope. The perpendicular slope, which you'll often see written like that, that's the symbol for perpendicular. Perpendicular means two lines cross and they make a T. Okay. So, perpendicular slope. You take this, you turn it upside down, take the reciprocal, and then there's one more step. It's going to be the opposite. If this is negative, we turn it positive. If it was positive, we'd have to turn it negative. 
So the perpendicular slope is called opposite for opposite sign reciprocal because it's the reciprocal. So it's a two-step process. You flip it and you change the sign. Flip, change the sign. Flip, change the sign. Let me write that down. One, flip. And two, change sign. Okay, let me finish this before you go. Um, I will go back and do the rest of the homework before I post it. All right, so we now know that the slope of the perpendicular line is positive one fifth. It's all normal now. Step three, find the equation of the line. This is the hard part, I think, for perpendicular lines. So three, just find the equation of the line. Y minus Y one equals m times x minus x, excuse me, 1. So the point is 2, 4. Let me write it over here, 2, 4. So y minus 4 equals positive 1 fifth times x minus 2. Notice the slope is the only difference. Okay, so I'll multiply both sides by 5. This right here goes up here. Okay. Now, 5 times y is 5y. 5 times negative 4 is negative 20. Over here, the 5s cancel, leaving me with 1 times x minus 2, which is just x minus 2. I'll add 20 to both sides in order to isolate the 5y. So on the left, I'll be left with 5y. And on the right, I will have x minus 2 plus 20. That'll be plus 18. And I'm going to be dividing by 5 so that's going to force me to remember that I have a 1 in front of the x. Divide by 5, divide by 5, so that our answer will be y equals 1 fifth x plus 18 over 5. So step one, I'm going to find the slope of this line. Good, I have a whole page. Step one.
find the slope of the given line. Two X plus nine Y equals eight. All right, and again, we're looking for a line that's perpendicular to that line. Okay, so I am going to move my eight over. We have an eight here, just like we had an eight before. All right. I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides. That's zero. And I'm left with 9y. 9y equals negative 2x plus 8. Then I divide by 9, divide by 9, divide by 9. And I find out that my slope of the given line is negative 2 ninths. So the slope of this line is negative 2 ninths. And I'm going to make that a negative 2 over a positive 9 just to make my life a little easier when I take the reciprocal. Now, step two, find the perpendicular slope. thinking of an organized way to try to do this. Find the perpendicular slope. Okay, A. Given slope, the given slope. That is the slope of the given line. B. Take reciprocal. That's going to be 9 over negative 2, which is negative 2 ninths. Negative 9 over 2. Now, critical, of critical importance is C. Change the sign. Nine over two. So we started with negative two ninths. We took the reciprocal nine over negative two or just negative nine over two, but then we changed the sign to nine over two. Now step three is just normal. what we've been doing. Find the equation of the line. I'm not in as much of a hurry now, 
so I can write a little more neatly. Okay, I'm going to use y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. The slope now is positive 9 over 2. Write that before I forget it. Nine, negative five. That's the point. Okay, so y minus negative five, x minus nine. So that'll be y plus five equals 9 over 2 times x minus 9. Multiply both sides of the equation by the denominator. 2. 2 over 1. 2 over 1 is 2. Now, distribute. 2y plus 2 times 5, which is 10, equals the 2's cancel, leaving me with 9 times x minus 9. Okay, now. I need to get 2y by itself. Ah, uh, ah, uh, not yet. Order, order, order. Distribute. 10 minus 10 is 0, so I'm left with 2y equals 9x minus 81 minus another 10, that'll be minus 91. So now I'll divide by 2, I'll divide by 2, I'll divide by 2. The twos cancel over here, and I'm going to be left with y equals 9 over 2 times x minus 91 over 2. Ta-da! Okay see what else is waiting for us. Another perpendicular. Write an equation of the line containing the given point and perpendicular to the given line. All right, fine. Step one, here we go again, step one. Find the slope of the given line. And the given line is 5x plus 4y equals 9. Ha, 
I'm learning my lesson slowly. Subtract 5x from both sides. Nine is positive, so I put a plus in front of it. All right, five X minus five X is zero, and I'm left with four Y on the left equals negative five X plus nine. Let me make sure I copied it correctly. Yes, five X plus four Y equals nine. Now I divide by four. I divide by four. I divide by four. What I'm looking for is the slope. So the slope of this line is negative five fourths. And there's no need to worry about where I'm going to stick the minus sign for that. Negative five fourths. Okay. Now zero eight is the point. No, not done yet. Step two. Step two, find the perpendicular slope. So, I forgot what I wrote for step one. I mean, A. A, given slope B, take reciprocal C, change sign. Okay. So, A, the given slope. It's not really given, we calculated it, but it's negative five fourths. It is the slope of the given line. Um, B, find reciprocal or take reciprocal. That'll be negative four fifths. And then C, change the sign. You can, of course, make your own steps, which you'll do anyway as you get more and more experience with this. Do we change the sign to positive? Uh-huh. That's what C is, change the sign. It'll be four-fifths. Thank you. Positive four-fifths. I didn't think anybody was still here. That's nice. Okay, so we know now that the slope is four-fifths. M, that is M perpendicular is four-fifths. So, zero, eight is our point. Step three, find the equation of the line. Well. Okay, y minus 
y one equals m times x minus x one. So y minus eight equals four fifths times x minus zero. And I'm gonna go ahead and write it that way, but x minus zero is just x. Okay. I multiply both sides of the equation now by the denominator five, making it a fraction over here, five over one, and no need to make it a fraction over here. So on the left, I'll have 5y minus 40. On the right, the fives cancel. x minus zero is just x, so I will have 4x. All right, now, got to solve for y. So add 40 to both sides of the equation. Negative 40 plus 40 is zero. So we'll have 5y equals 4x plus 40. Then I divide by 5, and divide by 5, and divide by 5. So unlike most of the other lines we've had, 40, I mean 5 will go into 40 evenly. So we'll have y equals 4 fifths x plus 8. So this is the line that's perpendicular to this line, and the point zero 08 is part of this line. It's on this line, new line. 